Since 1875, Isolatech International has been providing quality materials to the building construction industry. Our dedication and experience has led to the development, manufacture, and promotion of a complete line of CAFCO passive fire protection products. CAFCO spray applied fire resistant materials continue to account for the majority of promotional and sales efforts. At Isolatech, we pride ourselves on a quality manufacturing process. Our state-of-the-art quality control systems ensure that we are delivering only the highest integrity products to the job site. This is the first and most vital step in ensuring the fire protection material is able to perform its life safety mission. CAFCO provides a full range of wet mix, formerly known as cementitious materials, including CAFCO 300 for commercial density projects, CAFCO 400 at the medium density level, and CAFCO 800 for high density applications. Just as important as a quality product is a quality application. In order to ensure a quality installation that meets all building code, fire resistive and project requirements, we offer technical field assistance and training to all of our licensed contractors. This video is provided as means to educate and train those in the application of wet mix spray applied fire resistive materials. Prior to job startup, a contractor should make sure that the project site and field personnel are fully equipped with all applicable safety equipment and devices. These items and requirements, which include dust mask, safety glasses and hard hat, are listed on the particular product's material safety data sheet. A contractor must be familiar with and have recently reviewed CAFCO's most current application and installation manuals. Also, prior to starting a job, all steel substrates shall be inspected to make sure that all surfaces are free of oil, grease, loose mill scale, dirt, paint, primers, or other foreign materials which would impair satisfactory bonding to the surface. Special attention shall be given to painted or primed surfaces which must be in accordance with all UL guidelines listed in the most current UL fire resistance directory. If there is any question of the adhesion to a particular painted surface, the Isolatech International Technical Service Department should be contacted. Fire protection materials shall not be applied to steel floor decks prior to the completion of concrete work on that deck. Likewise, the application of material to the underside of roof deck shall not commence until roofing is completely installed and tight. All penthouses are complete, all mechanical units have been placed, and after construction roof traffic has ceased. Installation of sprayed fireproofing shall be coordinated so that all clips hangers, supports, sleeves, and other attachments to the substrate are placed prior to application. However, the installation of ducts, piping, conduit, or other suspended equipment shall not take place until the application of fireproofing is complete in an area. It is important that perimeter areas of the building to receive spray-applied fireproofing should be protected with tarps. Tarps help prevent material from being blown around during windy days and will thus minimize waste. Tarps may also be used to enclose work areas during cold weather, which in addition to job site heat will help to maintain the required minimum substrate and ambient temperatures of 40 degrees Fahrenheit. A permanent location for the application equipment must be secured on level, well-drained ground that is protected from the weather and located near a power source. This covered location should be easily accessible to truckload deliveries to make dropping off material as easy as possible. Space will need to be made available for bags to be piled as close to the machine setup as possible. Mixing of the material should be in accordance with the recommended application guidelines. There are several types of mixers that can be utilized with CAFCO materials and are approved for use. Most common are paddle and ribbon type mixers. The contractor must ensure that the mixer is operating at speeds of 35 to 40 revolutions per minute. The proper amount of water and mix are crucial to the successful installation of wet mix materials. Therefore, the mixing area should be equipped with both a clock and water metering device to ensure that a constant water quantity per mix and water to product ratio are maintained. 
Mixer and nozzle density should be checked periodically to ensure that the optimum performance of the material is being achieved. There are many suppliers of application equipment and pumps. Only those manufacturers and models listed in the application guide are recommended. The most common use pumps are piston pumps, which operate either mechanically or hydraulically. These pumps are the most versatile and can be used for low to high production applications. Rotor stator pumps can be and are typically used for lower production rate jobs and where equipment must be located on the floor to be sprayed. The material hose should be reinforced smooth interior vulcanized rubber as used in the plastering industry. Total hose length should not exceed 335 feet for piston pumps and 100 to 200 feet for rotor stator pumps depending on the stator size. Maximum hose lengths for different diameter hoses should be in accordance with those listed in the application manual. Tapered reducers must be used when a reduction in hose diameter is necessary. Metal standpipe 2.5 inch to 3 inches in diameter must be used when pumping height exceeds 3 stories or 36 feet or when required hose length exceeds 335 feet. The spray nozzle assembly should consist of a minimum 1 inch inside diameter aluminum pole with blow-off type nozzle cap, nozzle orifice, material and air control valves. For optimum coverage and density, a 5 8 inch inside diameter orifice is recommended. Once all the pumps and hoses have been primed with water at the start of the application, the material is then ready to be discharged from the mixer into the pump hopper. The material valve at the spray nozzle is then opened and the pump switch turned on. When the slurry begins to exit the nozzle, the atomized air should be adjusted to achieve a uniform spray pattern. It must be made sure that there is no restriction of material. Regardless of the substrate being sprayed, it is important to maintain the proper distance between the nozzle and the substrate surface. The distances will vary according to the type of equipment and nozzle used, but should be between 12 and 24 inches. The nozzle shall be moved in a smooth left to right or up and down motion to achieve a full even pattern. Always position the nozzle perpendicular to the substrate. The material is then applied to the steel at an initial coat thickness of approximately half an inch with subsequent coats applied thicknesses of 3 quarters to 1 inch until the final thickness is achieved. In most cases, CAFCO 300 offers the best fire resistance performance per unit thickness of any commercial density spray applied fire resistive material. This means less material is needed to achieve the required fire ratings. Columns should be sprayed from the top downward. The nozzle should be held perpendicular to the substrate. Product should be applied to the inner flanges, then to the inner webs, and finally to the outside flanges. When applying material to the beams, material should first be applied to the web flange junction, then the rest of the bottom of the flange, then the top flange and web. This should be repeated on both sides before finishing with the outside flange. Thickness check should be randomly taken in order to ensure that the sprayer doesn't exceed the required design thickness. The following are recommended thickness gauges for CAFCO wet mix materials. Excessive thickness may result in delamination or prolonged drying time and is the most common reason for reduced yield. Flutes must be filled or plugged depending on the design requirement. This area is typically filled in and then sealed by a returning pass that also hits the top flange tip. Application to the underside of steel decking should be within the same guidelines and requirements as the insulation to beams and columns. The application of CAFCO 300 or 400 to cellular decking should take place only after CAFCO pre-coat has been installed to a minimum of 70% of the surface area. It should also be noted that all fluted roof decking without concrete toppings require the use of CAFCO bond seal applied as an adhesive prior to the application. Rolling scaffolds should be provided for applications that are not accessible from the floor. Scaffolding should be in accordance with all OSHA requirements. CAFCO Quickset is an accelerator that is added to CAFCO 300 
To reduce the set time, an quick set is applied by using a chemical metering pump, which conveys the solution through a hose to the wet mix nozzle where it is mixed with the 300 slurry. CAFCO wet mix materials are slippery when mixed with water. Do not allow wet mix material to remain on scaffolds, ladder rungs, or floors. Material overspray can easily be scraped clean from the floors. This proves to be an advantage of CAFCO 300 over the other wet mix materials that are often very difficult to scrape clean. Equipment must also be properly cleaned as the mixer should be flush clean with water. Allow a sufficient volume of water to be pumped through the hose and nozzle until both are flush clean. When properly installed, CAFCO wet mix materials will perform as specified and will achieve the required fire resistance ratings. CAFCO wet mix materials have been installed on numerous projects due to the overwhelming thickness advantages, excellent coverage, exceptional physical performance, and easy cleanup. We trust this video has provided you with some guidance and insight towards the application of CAFCO 300, 400, and 800 wet mix spray applied fire resistive materials. We do, however, encourage that you contact your regional technical sales representative or our technical service department if you require more detailed information, instructional training, or if you have any questions or concerns regarding the application of CAFCO wet mix products.